So talking about the passive voice in Unit 7, Lesson 5, um, the passive voice can be expressed in any verb tense, okay? So remember, we have an active sentence, and then we have a passive sentence. The passive is made with be plus the past participle. Um, and so here we can see how it's formed in the simple present, the present continuous, and Rosa, your question, the future. Um, so right here, a committee chooses the winner. Here's the, here's the object of the verb. That object becomes the subject in the next sentence. Chooses is simple present. So the winner is, and the past participle is choose, chose, chosen, is chosen by a committee. In the future tense, to answer your question, Rosa, I would say something like this. They will pick the best movie. Will is a modal verb, and always in English, after the modal verb, we use the base verb. No ing, no ed, no s form after a modal verb. Modal verbs are will and can and should and, and those types of verbs. In the, in the active sentence, the object of the verb is the best movie. We take the object of the verb of an active sentence and we make it the subject in the passive sentence. And then we have be plus past participle, but if I wanna use it in the future tense, I need to use my, <clears throat> my future marker, will, followed by the base verb. So will be, and so I say the, the movie, the best movie will be picked. And then I can add a, an object pronoun and say, not by they, but the best movie will be picked by them. Okay. Remember, are going to, is going to, am going to, I am going to also is the future tense. And so I can say the best movie is going to be picked by them. Okay, and here you can see examples. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see examples in the simple past, past continuous, uh, present perfect, any verb tense um, can be changed from the active to the passive voice. So in our book, we're, we're doing the passive voice with get, which is you know, we, we use get instead of the be verb. And we're going to do this right now. And, I, and you'll have a chance to ask questions of Sarah or me. And um, then I'll show the answers in a few minutes. But you're going to take a sentence. And you're going to, it's an active sentence. You're going to write, write that sentence with the passive uh, using be. And then you're going to use the passive using get. Okay. So in this example, um, if enough people sign the petition, it goes to a congressperson. Here's the verb, to sign. The object of the verb, the petition. So I'm going to make the petition the subject of my passive sentence. I still use the if clause, and, and I say if the petition is signed by enough people, it goes to a congress person. Is is a simple present. And so with get, I use it gets. Don't forget your S form. Okay. And, and here, if the petition gets signed by enough people, it goes to a congress person. So um, I'm going to ask you to do sentences two, three, four. I'll put the answers up in a minute. Um, this will take some students longer than other students. So if you finish sentence two, three, and four quickly, uh, don't just sit there and waste your time. I want you to look at section uh, 1B, these sentences with the new vocabulary. And I want you to make these sentences um, passive as well if you finish the, the sentences on page 135.